The video we're about to show you may be disturbing to some of our viewers. We want to get that warning out there. But the sheriff here in Thurston County, Derek Sanders, says it's important for folks to see this because you can see how quickly conditions can change on the road and how important it is to be sober, alert, and wearing your seatbelt. There's no audio from the dash cam recording that April afternoon when Sheriff Derek Sanders was on patrol near Yelm as the driver of a red pickup with a trailer pulls into the sheriff's lane. They'll be at the intersection of Lawrence Lake and 153rd. The first deputy on scene. Derek, can you hear me? It's Kevin. Knows the sheriff Derek, and talks to him to until paramedics Kevin. arrive. Derek, I need you to stay with me, Derek, okay? Sanders suffered a traumatic brain injury and was flown to Harborview Medical Center, but he's convinced if he hadn't been wearing a seatbelt, he would not have survived. I always wear my seatbelt. Um, I'm paranoid. I'm, I'm that guy who like, we have to go across the parking lot and I click and my friends are all like, what are you doing? I'm just dropping you off. And I'm like, uh-uh, um, I'm not getting ejected. I don't care what you say. So um, seatbelt, airbag, saved my life for sure. I'm Hi. glad you survived well, your Thank crash. you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so much. After working light duty for two months, Sanders was medically cleared to return to full duty last month. Hi. We caught up How's with him going? today at the Thurston Good. County Fair. Sanders says he's not paying much attention to the ongoing Washington State Patrol investigation into the crash. He admits he was speeding. He topped out at 61 miles per hour in a 50 zone just seconds before impact. But investigators believe the pickup driver was impaired. Detectives say that 29-year-old man admitted to doing meth the night before. He was not injured. And Sheriff Sanders says he's grateful for that. Even if State Patrol says that he was the at-fault driver, and I hit and killed him, I would still have to live with that. So I'm, I'm glad that there's no significant injuries and, you know, everything else feels insignificant at that point. The sheriff also says he's been grateful for all the support he's received during his recovery. The driver of that pickup was initially arrested on vehicular assault charges because detectives determined or at least believed that he was under the influence at the time of the crash. He admitted to, to doing methamphetamine, as we have heard uh, here at the courthouse before. But at this point, no charges have been filed because this is still under investigation by the Washington State Patrol. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.